I'm partly wanting to go to university for the education and also for the social life. Just the words on campus. They just have such an exciting sound. How did you get on? Oh. It was very hard. Much tougher than I imagined. Loads of questions about people I've never heard of. Johann Sebastian, somebody. <laughs> I just don't know. I think I played Ebb Tide as well as I've ever played it, so... <laughs> Fingers crossed. <laughs> over here for now, Daddy. I'm not sure where it should go until I get my Simon Rattle posters up. Lovely view at the tower, darling. Well, that's where everybody commits suicide, apparently. It was in the prospectus. <laughs> Luca, I'll sort all this lot out. You go. All right, Lankin. Oh, Daddy's bought you a little present. Oh, just some marijuana. Uh, something to handle. <laughs> I think it was the right sort. Don't people smoke it anymore, Daddy. It's not like when you were at college. Well, just chuck it in the bin if you don't want it. You do have a bin. Yes, no, honestly, look, do go, honestly. Bye, darling. Bye. Right. Bye, bye, darling. Oh, we'll come and see you often. OK. And bring food. Take care. OK, bye. <laughs> <laughs> brought my guitar, so uh, any peculiar wailing noises you hear through the wall, that'll be me. <laughs> little me. Not so little, unfortunately. <laughs> I play Ebb Tide, actually, on, on an electronic keyboard, so, uh, if you fancy the odd duet. <laughs> the, the odd duet. Very odd, you know, if we're playing. <laughs> <laughs> Wonder how much coffee we're going to drink before the end of term. <laughs> gallons. Gallons and galloons. That's the mistake. Let's go to the loo. Yeah, lava tree. <laughs> Excuse me a moment. I think she and I would be pretty good mates. That's Hilary. She's doing religious studies and her second subject's netball, I think. <laughs> she got here a day early, so she's going to show me the spin dryer and the milk machine. There's a place to uh, dry tights across the way if uh, drying tights turns you on. Um, your zip's undone. <laughs> <laughs> that settles it. <laughs> on the old diet. <laughs> the boyfriend going off me. What does he do? Oh, he's at school. Head boy, but we don't talk about that. <laughs> Not really fat, anyway. Oh, my hero. <laughs> so where are you off to tonight? Well, tonight's the last night of Freshers Week, so everyone in Blakers... Oh, sorry, um, that's Blakethorpe Hall. We're all going to Peewee. That's Peabody Tower next door. And we're all having the sort of do in the television room. So if anyone wants to watch television, that's jolly hard cheese. <laughs> Probably had the most horrendous hangover tomorrow morning. <laughs> Probably missed my first tutorial. <laughs> I bet it was Hillary. Maggie. Well, I bet it would have been if she hadn't. God knows how they got her on the stretcher. Legs that size. <laughs> Shut up, Maggie. Do you think you had anything to do with Hillary's suicide attempt? No, not really, did I? No, I don't think so. I think going away to university for the first time, it's a strain on anybody. The lectures, making your own coffee, buying soap powder. <laughs> There's a lot of pressure. If you're fat and ugly with a hopeless personality, you're probably better off taking an overdose or something. So you don't feel badly about any of this business with Hillary? I might have been when I first came, but um, not now. I've been here ten days and I can cope. <laughs> Actually, it's great that her room's empty because now I've got somewhere to put my freezer. 